हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आई के सर केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस हेयर वी आर इन लेक्चर नंबर थर्टीन ऑन द चैप्टर सेमेट्री एंड ग्रुप थ्योरी इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस सेमेट्री एंड डायपोल मोमेंट लेट अस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी सी इलेक्ट्रिकल डायपोल मोमेंट which is simply known as dipole moment also the polarity of a covalent bond such as ab having partial positive charge on atom a and partial negative charge on atom b it is a polar covalent bond and its polarity is expressed in terms of bond moment which is defined by the expression mu is equal to delta into l here mu is the bond moment delta is the magnitude of charge on either end of the covalent bond and l is the distance between the centers of positive and negative charges it means l is the bond length of ab bond thus the bond moment is given by delta into l the unit of bond moment is dy d e b y e which is abbreviated as capital d and 1 dy is equal to 10 to the power minus 18 esu centimeter net dipole moment of a molecule the resultant of two bond dipole vectors two bond dipole vectors with magnitudes mu1 and mu2 is given by the law of parallelogram let us see it again the resultant of two bond dipole vectors having magnitude mu1 and mu2 is given by the law of parallelogram this is bond dipole vector in this direction with magnitude mu1 and it is bond dipole vector in this direction with magnitude mu2 and the angle between these two bond dipole vectors is alpha then the resultant of these two bond dipole vectors is given by the law of parallelogram and its magnitude is mu and the direction is given here mu the resultant of these two bond dipole vectors is given by the expression mu is equal to mu1 square plus mu2 square plus 2 mu1 mu2 cos alpha whole under root 2 whole under root the resultant of these two bond dipole vectors is equal to under root mu1 square plus mu2 square plus 2 mu1 mu2 cos alpha if a molecule contains more than two polar covalent bonds then the net dipole moment of the molecule is equal to the vectorial sum of bond dipole vectors of all its bonds if a molecule contains more than two polar covalent bonds the resultant dipole moment of the molecule the net dipole moment of the molecule is equal to the vectorial sum of bond dipole vectors of all its bonds polar and non polar molecule the covalent molecules are divided into non polar and polar categories first of all 
let us see non polar molecule the covalent molecule whose net dipole moment is equal to 0 is called a non polar molecule the covalent molecule whose net dipole moment whose resultant dipole moment is equal to 0 is called a non polar molecule a few examples are given here H2, O2, Cl2, etc. All these are homonuclear diatomic molecules. All homonuclear diatomic molecules are nonpolar. Let us see the case of H2 molecule, which has single covalent bond between two hydrogen atoms. There is no charge on hydrogen atoms and hence it is a non-polar molecule. The absence of charge on hydrogen atoms is due to the fact that the bond pair lies just in the middle of two hydrogen atoms which have same capability to attract the bond pair. The bond pair lies just in the middle of two hydrogen atoms and hence there is no charge on hydrogen atoms and it is a non-polar covalent bond or H2 molecule is non-polar molecule. Another type of molecule is polar molecule. The covalent molecule whose net dipole moment is not equal to zero is called a polar molecule. It has certain net dipole moment. The covalent molecule whose net dipole moment is equal to zero is called a non-polar molecule, while the covalent molecule whose net dipole moment is not equal to zero is called a polar molecule. Any molecule is polar only when it contains polar covalent bond. Any molecule can be polar only in that condition when it contains polar covalent bond. Let us see an example. HCl molecule has polar covalent bond and the molecule is also polar. Its dipole moment, net dipole moment is 1.03 divide. Please note that HCl is a heteronuclear diatomic molecule. Here hydrogen and chlorine atoms are different. Chlorine is more electronegative than hydrogen atom. The electronegativity of hydrogen is 2.1 while the electronegativity of chlorine is 3.0. Therefore, chlorine atom has greater ability to attract the shared electron pair to attract the bond pair towards itself. As a result, the bond pair is displaced slightly towards chlorine atom. It is not just in the middle of hydrogen and chlorine atoms. The bond pair is displaced towards more electronegative chlorine atom and consequently partial positive charge develops on less electronegative atom while partial negative charge develops on more electronegative atom. Thus the HCl bond is polar covalent bond and the molecule is itself polar its dipole moment is 1.03 divide. The dipole moment is a vector quantity and it is denoted by an arrow in the direction of displacement of electron. This is the dipole moment vector. HCl molecule contains polar covalent bond and it is polar molecule also. But a molecule containing polar covalent bond is not essentially polar. 
if a molecule contains polar covalent bond it is not necessary that the molecule is polar let us see an example bcl3 molecule has three polar covalent bonds but the molecule is overall nonpolar its net dipole moment is zero it can be explained with the help of its shape bcl3 molecule has triangular planar shape it contains three polar covalent bonds this is bond dipole vector bond dipole vector the resultant of these two bond dipole vectors is given by given in this direction and its magnitude is same as that of this bond dipole vector now the resultant of these two bond dipole vectors will be zero because these two have same magnitude and act in the opposite directions and therefore the net dipole moment of bcl3 molecule is zero and it is a non-polar molecule bcl3 molecule contains three polar covalent bonds but it is overall non-polar because its net dipole moment is equal to zero although it contains three polar covalent bonds bond moment and symmetry element a molecule cannot be polar if it contains center of symmetry please note that any molecule having center of symmetry can never be polar it is always non-polar let us illustrate it taking example of xcf4 molecule which has a square planar shape xc atom is center of symmetry here any line passing through the center of symmetry of a molecule meets identical atoms at equal distances on both the sides if this line is drawn we meet identical fluorine atoms on both the sides the di bond dipole vector of xcf bond is in this direction and the xcf bond in the opposite side is given in this direction the net result of these bond dipole vectors is zero similarly these two bond dipole vectors also cancel each other therefore the net dipole moment of xcf4 molecule is zero and it is nonpolar any molecule having center of symmetry is always nonpolar a molecule cannot have electric dipole moment a molecule cannot have electric dipole moment perpendicular to any axis of symmetry if it is an axis of symmetry in a molecule the molecule cannot have electric dipole moment in its perpendicular direction dipole moment in the perpendicular direction to the axis of symmetry is ruled out similarly a molecule cannot have electric dipole moment perpendicular to the plane of symmetry this is plane of symmetry present in a molecule then the molecule cannot have electric dipole moment in the perpendicular direction to the plane of symmetry some molecules have an axis of symmetry it rules out the dipole moment in its perpendicular direction and if the molecule contains other axis or plane of symmetry the dipole moment in another direction is also ruled out some molecules have axis of symmetry 
and the presence of dipole moment in its perpendicular direction is ruled out. And if the molecule contains other axis or plane of symmetry, the dipole moment in another direction is also ruled out. Thus, if two or more symmetry elements such as C and axis of improper rotation or plane of symmetry present in a molecule, two or more symmetry elements C and or sigma are present in a molecule, the presence of dipole moment in all the directions is ruled out and such molecules are non-polar. If a molecule contains two or more elements of symmetry such as C and or sigma, the presence of dipole moment in all the directions is ruled out and such molecules are non-polar. Let us see some examples. If a molecule contains C N and N C2 dash perpendicular to C N, there are there is the principal axis of symmetry and a number of C2 axis of symmetry perpendicular to Cn such as in Dn, Dnd and Dnh point groups it is non-polar. In Dn, Dnd and Dnh point groups the molecule contains Cn and Nc2 dash perpendicular to Cn and hence the possibility of dipole moment in all the directions is ruled out and such molecules are non-polar. If a molecule contains Cn, the dipole moment in its perpendicular direction is ruled out and if it contains plane of symmetry sigma h also, the dipole moment in its perpendicular direction is ruled out such as in CNH point group, the molecule is non-polar. This is the axis of symmetry Cn. Then the dipole moment in this direction is ruled out. If the molecule contains sigma h, the dipole moment in its perpendicular direction is ruled out and it happens in CNH point group and such molecules belonging to CNH point group are non-polar. And if a molecule contains two or more CN where N is greater than two as happens in TD, IH and OH point groups, it is non-polar. Let us now conclude the video, conclude the lecture. The molecules belonging to the following point groups are always non-polar. And these point groups are DN, DND and DNH. The molecules belonging to these point groups contain CN and N number of C2 dash perpendicular to CN and hence the possibility of dipole moment in all the directions is ruled out and molecules belonging to these point groups are always non-polar. Similarly, the molecules belonging to TD, IH and OH point groups are also non-polar because they contain a number of axes of symmetry as well as a number of planes of symmetry and therefore the possibility of dipole moment in all the directions is ruled out. The molecules belonging to these point groups DN, DND, DNH, TD, IH and OH are always non-polar. Thank you for watching the video with patience. Please like and share it. If you have not subscribed my channel 8, please subscribe it so that you may get information regarding my new videos in time. Thank you again.